what do you think this is? Well, we can see it's a stratified epithelium. Uh, we can see that it goes from a more uh, columnar approach at the bottom to a more flattened out and redder area on top. If you wanted to call this transitional epithelium, I would agree with you. If you think it has some perhaps features of early squamous, I wouldn't fight you with that either. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter. This is the epithelium of the female urethra, which if it isn't squamous, it will soon become squamous. Notice the subepithelial tissues are very vascular. You have a lot of open spaces here lined by endothelium. This, these are veins, a plexus of veins. Notice you have some thicker walled structures, which we can call arteries. And then notice also you are starting to get a circular array of smooth muscle fibers intermingled with uh, the uh, spindly fibroblasts. And also notice we have some more uh, wide open spaces here representing veins. Also notice that as we zoom down, uh, we can see that this is a pretty good size thickness of smooth muscle bundles representing the uh, um, internal sphincter because the internal sphincter is smooth muscle and it is uh, involuntary muscle. But also note that we are starting to get little groups of fibers like this towards the outside which look a lot redder and thicker than the spindly fibers of uh, the involuntary smooth muscle and these are classically the fibers of now voluntary striated muscle which would be the fibers of the external sphincter. Also notice that uh, some of these voluntary muscle fibers are kind of mixed in with the smooth muscle fibers. So you don't really have a extreme line of distinction between the uh, smooth muscle and the striated muscle. Sometimes you just kind of blend in but you will generally notice that these striated muscles are more towards the outside. And when you get totally within the inside, like you have here, it's all 100% uh, smooth muscle. This is the female urethra, and I thank you very much.